hey welcome back so this is our section for running your first pre autos application all right this section consists of only two lectures in the first lecture we'll learn about adding pre autos kernel to your project and in the second lecture we'll learn about running your first pre autos application on arduino board all right so now let's get started with our first lecture that is adding pre autos kernel to your Atmos Studio project. All right, so I am ready with my new project uh, called uh, Preautos Test. This is of course an empty project I just created. So now let's add a Preautos kernel to this project. So it is very simple. There are two ways you can add. So one is you can download from the Preautos website and you can uh, add it to the project or the easiest method is go to your ASF and uh, ASF option and open the ASF wizard. Okay, so now it has opened the ASF wizard and in the search box, okay, just search for free autos. Okay, just write the word free and you will see lot of uh, pre autos options over here and select this pre autos real time kernel service. Okay. So this is a version 7.3.0. So just select it and then press add. Okay. So now Preautos has come to the selected modules list. And after that, just confirm this by clicking apply. It is saying that uh, it will add all these files to your uh, project. Okay. So that's okay. And uh, after that, the pre autos license uh, agreement will come and you just accept it and press finish. All right, so the pre autos kernel is now added to our project. So how to locate it? Expand this. So this is the ASF component, right? So it must be under ASF. And this is not a Atmel's native kernel, isn't it? It is from preautos.org. So that's why you will find it under third party. So when you open it, you will see the preautos kernel gets added under third party folder. Okay. And just expand this. This is a preautos 7.3.0. And again, expand it. You will see this is a source. Okay. And these are the kernel source files of uh, Preautos and this is the respective header files. Okay. And also the Atmel Studio will automatically add the Preautos config file under config folder. Okay. So here is a Preautos config.h file. So you need not to worry about writing or preparing the Preautos configuration file the Atmel Studio will automatically generate it for the microcontroller you are using. Okay, so this is a pre config.h which is specific to the Atmel SAM based microcontroller. Okay, great. So now we learned how to add the pre kernel to our project. It is very, very simple. You just have to open the ASF wizard and search for the pre autos and just add it it is that simple okay and you need not to create any pre autos configuration file so because the artman studio will automatically add the pre autos configuration file to the config folder great so now we just added the pre autos kernel so now how to test this you need a pre autos uh, real time application isn't it a uh, application which consists of a uh, couple of tasks or something so now in the next lecture, let's add a pre autos application to the project and uh, let's compile all the pre autos kernel along with the application and then we will test our first pre autos application on the Arduino Duo hardware. Okay, see you in the next lecture.